I wanted to share with you guys a 48 inch AMI uh, tilt grade bucket that we have on our 305. We got this from the dealer when we purchased the machine uh, and they sell a proprietary cat one that's bigger. It's actually substantially bigger than this, but the problem that I've seen with it is that it's a little bit too heavy for the machine. So when you're working over the side of a track, the machine will tend to tip, especially if you know you get a good bucket. So this one, I found that even with a full bucket, you can pretty much swing over the side of the machine comfortably, reach out, you know, scoop material as well as dump material without tipping. Um, so to install it, you just it's got your pins just like your regular cap buckets and this machine has the manual quick coupler versus the i have the just the straight grade bucket from cat you can just see the thickness difference i mean this isn't a bad bucket this one's like 1200 bucks i think but i mean the thickness on the ami is substantially thicker it's just more solid bucket the wear plates on the bottom are thicker but to hook this up what you got to do is turn off your hydraulic flow for your thumb if you have a thumb so just with an adjustable you can turn these off so that'll lock out the thumb and then you have your quick connect lines that go here and here and then once that's hooked up you'll have hydraulic flow and i'll show you in the machine on the computer you can actually adjust the flow on this machine to the attachment with the computer once you got your quick couplers hooked up, uh, the lines are routed and they have a curve to them so that they stay off the machine so there's no snagging and they don't hit the machine. You just gotta be a little careful if you're working around uh, you know, trees or anything like that. Uh, it, the, the line stays with inside the bucket, but you just gotta be careful of the lines. And the other nice thing I like about this bucket is that there's a grease fitting here and there. And I believe there's one more in the inside there that's on an angle. So you can get all these no matter if the bucket's twisted in, if it's flat, however you have it positioned, if you're gonna grease it quick, there's not an overly complicated greasing procedure. You, know, you gotta get the bucket in different positions to hit all the lines, so they did a nice job with that. There's two things you can do when you have this tilt bucket on the machine. The first thing that I do is I go from the home screen, I hit the top button for the menu, I scroll down to work tool, I scroll down to work tool select and I go down and I switch it to tilt bucket. And then as you can see on the monitor, it just switched to the tilt bucket. I don't know what that necessarily does if that, if it just shows it as an icon or it actually is changing some feature in the machine. But um, my salesman showed me that. So I just follow his instruction on that. And then to go to, if you go to work tool again, what, since you've, locked out your thumb if you have a thumb your your main auxiliary one flow is now to the tilt bucket so you're going to go to auxiliary flow one adjust so right now i added it 15 because i like the thumb to be pretty quick so if i want to turn that down i'll just select down and i'll set it at say we'll start with seven for right now so i'll say okay and then i'll save that so it stays with the machine so auxiliary flow one's been saved now. So it'll stay at seven if I shut the machine off and won't go back to 15. And uh, I'll start the machine up and then we'll see what that looks like. I got the throttle position on eight right now. Uh, so this is level seven for auxiliary flow on the tilt bucket. So it's still pretty quick. But you can finesse the button and not press it so hard so that you get a little bit of a smoother move to it but if you want to be able to just fully go on and hit the the rocker as hard as it'll go I'll change it down even more so this is level three and that's that's full full press on the rocker. 